hey how's it going all right so we're going to talk about active group users a chrome extension what it is is it's an extension you install in your browser that lets you capture people that are active in groups I'll show you how that works in a moment but first I just want to show you how you use the data once you have it so as you can see right here this is a list of people's profiles that are in Facebook in the groups that I chose if I go to the extension itself you can see the list of groups that I chose in my list right and you choose whatever groups you want basically because these are the people that are in your target market right if you're in weight loss you're going to have a weight loss group if you're an entrepreneur you're going to have an entrepreneur group so you're an affiliate you might have affiliate groups depending on what you're trying what kind of person you're trying to reach you put groups that those kinds of people hang out in right so I'll show you how the extension works in a minute but if you and, that, and if that's what you're looking for then go ahead and skip ahead this video but I want to show you how to use the extension once you have the data you're going to notice here there's a bunch of columns I mean it's a lot of lots of stuff that's there <coughs> what you got to remember is that when you first use it all you care about is just clicking on these to go visit the people's profiles uh, they're not obviously not going to have any numbers here it's all going to say zero everywhere <coughs> and we'll show you that also how it looks when you first get in there but this is my data I've been using it for uh, I don't know four months six months something like that so I, every single day I use this to go visit people on Facebook like for example let's say I go to Lindy Lewis over here if I click her name it pops up more information the post some of the information of when I visited them how many comments how many posts I commented on how many rea reactions I did you can actually see <coughs> the numbers right there right show up um but if I want to visit her again I visited her yesterday right it's the just uh it doesn't show here but on the other screen here we see right here that I visited her yesterday right so I probably don't need to go visit her profile again the idea is you you visit people's profiles every few days I do it every six at least I try to wait six days before I visit them again because most people post once a week some that post more than once a week you know it, you could visit more but I just I comment on three posts and that's what these numbers are right here right so these numbers here uh, if you mouse over these these little columns it'll tell you what each of these things are and you can tell this is an these are notes I can actually put notes for each of these I can actually click on this and I can put a note in here if I want and basically I can say something like I can't comment on these posts which for me and and it's your note you put whatever you want but for me what it means is that I don't need to go back to visit this person's profile tomorrow or next week because I can't comment on their post anyways uh, over here you're going to see the number of visits the number of reactions the number of comments the number of times you sent friend uh, private messages and the number uh, that you sent friend requests to <coughs> okay so um basically what you're going to do is you're going to click on their profile the 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 the, the row that's there right and then you can click on this to take you to the post itself if you want but this clicking their name here or here will take you to their personal profile not their group profile which you know when you go to the group profile you have to click something else to take you to their personal profile this takes you straight to the personal profile where you can engage on their posts comment on their posts which I've already done as you can see right here right I've already engaged on these posts so that's why that profile uh, that's why if I just do a close here uh that's why I have numbers here 12 22 22 right that means I visited that profile 12 times since I've been using that tool and over here it shows you that I just visited just now that's why the rows are green the ones that are green are because I visited them in the last 24 hours it kind of helps you to see uh whether you visit them and the other thing is there's all these filters up here it's a there's lots it's it's overwhelming I, I know but it's pretty straightforward you can say what to sh I maybe I just want to see posts maybe I just want to see comments you can see with a note without a note uh you can also say you know I want to see the pr the post that I visited at least six days ago or 10 days ago so it'll show me that in the list here right um and uh, that so the and you can also search for you know I can search for Kim for example right just filter on Kim and it'll show me just the Kims that I have in my list right so that's kind of how that works <coughs> the other thing you'll notice is big red box here I can close that if I want basically that shows the numbers that I visited today right 24 uh, the reactions and comments and whether I sent pms or not 
and then it gives me you know over the last five days and an average and that kind of stuff all right so let's go to getting it installed all right so I switched over to a test account so this is Bob webinar it's not a real account but it's still me as you can see so what you do is you first go find first you're going to go to active group users you're going to see this page and down the bottom there's a click here to get active group users chrome Extension. so the first thing you got to do is install it right and if you're watching this video chances are you probably already have it installed but then and if you're looking to how to use it then you know the beginning and we'll I'll just um, do this really quick for those who haven't installed it yet basically you go here I already have it enabled I already have it installed but normally you would just click on here and say install in chrome after you have it installed then you would come to here and you possibly want to enable the little check mark here to make it show up right here right so that it shows up in your um in your extension icons it doesn't have to show up you can you don't have to have it there you can always go click it to go access it but in the case of um, of us we like to have it show up so we're gonna, just going to do that and if I go to the manage extensions down here takes me to this page as you can see I have the I have the online one and I have a, a debug one that's why I have two of them but normally you'll only have one uh, you won't have this little icon next to it like this uh, but this is the version that I'm recording because that'll be online after I do this video I need to do the video <laughs> to put it online anyways um okay so all right so after you've got it installed whenever you click that let's close this let's go back to Facebook we have Facebook here right you got to make sure you're logged into Facebook in the same browser because the extension uses your your uh, browser to access Facebook right so now what we do is we go to the extension and the first thing you'll see is it's going to tell you welcome you, you need an access key so that's the first thing you got to do is get an access key so you just click on this link here that says find by clicking here right and basically it tells you right here that to activate your Chrome extension you'll need a, your access key to get your access key you'll first need to register so you need to register an account so this is how the simplest way to do it you just click on this and then you just say continue as whatever your Facebook account is that'll pop up a thing here that'll tell you uh you're about to request access uh, active group users is uh, is going to be requesting this so you just say continue as Bob and that will activate you and it'll say registering for Facebook successful you can click on reload here and now you're going to notice that now you're logged in and you have a little icon right here which is your same profile picture right and now it says get access key so that's your accounts created now you just click on get access key and you can just copy the code go now you could show the key I mean it doesn't matter this keys uh and I can reset the key right so that whatever key you just saw right now if you were to use it you wouldn't be able to connect to my account because that key is now no longer valid because I clicked the reset here right but anyways I'm just going to copy the clipboard all you got to do is here let's back up all you got to do is click on this and then click on copy to clipboard right here and afterwards you go back to the extension just by clicking the little icon up here and put that key in there just paste it in there and the activate button shows up you click on activate and boom your extension is now activated now what you want to do is you want to put groups in here so let's go back to Facebook and let's say I want to find weight loss support group there you go okay so because I'm trying to sell a weight loss supplement right so I'm going to go find these weight loss groups and I'm going to join them I have to be in the group <laughs> so because I'm not in weight loss I'm not in these weight loss groups I'll uh, actually I'm in keto group so let's just say keto group keto group okay because I'm in some of these keto groups so let's just uh let's see groups and my groups oh I guess my groups is groups I created but there's none so join 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 that's weird I thought I was in some of these groups uh okay maybe just keto just keto groups because I know I'm in some keto groups join 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 okay well anyways it doesn't matter let's go to my my target market which is affiliate marketers affiliate right in my case I'm in affiliate I'm in affiliate marketing so if I go back to the groups here and I can see this this is more one of my groups here uh is my groups going to show me 
no no it just shows me the groups I created okay so I want to see the groups I'm in which I uh, I wish I is there another way to see the groups that I'm in anyways if you go to groups right here you're going to find the groups you're in right oh I'm Bob right here I'm not in any groups that's why okay well let's just do this one because I'm in that one <laughs> but if I was uh, myself if I was if I go back to my um to my other uh browser here where I actually had myself in there if I go back to here and I go to Facebook let's say I just click on any of these and go to Facebook <clears throat> so I'll just kind of show you how the group thing works right if I go here and I click on the groups because this computer here is logged into my Facebook account that's why you see a whole bunch of groups here if I do a search for say keto there's going to be some groups that I'm in in keto groups and you see the ones I'm in right over here uh so I could go to one of these I could just right click this copy the link right click on any of these copy the link and then go into the extension and paste it in there but let's not do it here let's do it on the other on the other thing if I go here you can you can get the link anyways it doesn't matter there's lots of ways to get the link you need the link to the group which is either up here right or you right click on this copy link or if you see the groups in the list you can copy link once you got the link you go into your extension by clicking the little extension um, icon there again it pops back up you paste your group right there you add the group there and it shows up in your list of groups right so once you have your groups and I'm going to do that on the other computer because this is just one group it's probably not enough to show to really show you how all this works so let me go back to the other one and show you uh there you go and show you if I go back to the extension here this one here I also let's do this so you can see it there we go and let's do this so you can see that too I wonder why that resized like that okay so um yeah so if I go to the extension right here by clicking on it right you see how I have a whole bunch of groups so this is how you use the extension after you've activated your account you created your account you activated the chrome extension well you installed it activated you can install your chrome extension you run the extension now you can click the start button but the thing is you have to realize this uses your browser so you might not be able to use your computer while this is happening so I recommend you schedule it so it runs at night I have it under options here I have it set to run at 2 a.m you can set it to whatever time you want and what that does is that it just starts running at that time right so if I go back to home here and I click on start this is what's going to happen whenever you whenever it triggers that schedule it'll do the same as you clicking on this start button right so you click on that and it says starting to scrape and it pops up a new a window and then it starts to go through the groups that you told it to go through you see right here this is groups uh 7111 whatever it is MLSP members group then it closes it then it goes to the next group and what it does by the way is it goes to that group and scrolls through and finds the people that are active in the group and the ones that posted the ones that commented and that kind of stuff so it's just going to keep uh, uh opening up new tabs like it's doing right now see now this is post in that group right and then it's going to go and find um this is another post it's going to load up other groups as well and that kind of stuff so that's all going to just happen and eventually it'll finish as you can see right now we got a little number showing up right here that's because it's done two so far it's found two I can stop it anytime I want I can come back here and just stop it that'll stop the the scraping so that I can use my computer again and it'll also tell me that it found two comments from two people and two posts from one group right just because I didn't let it run long enough but that's what it does and afterwards you click on this view data right here to access the data like we saw in the beginning of the video and this is why right now there's only three but that's basically because I didn't let it run that long and uh yeah so if you want to use all the data because what happens is it runs every single time you run it it does a new what's called a scrape which means the data for that one time right but if you want to have uh all the data of every single one of these in one big view you can go here to view by contacts and that lets you see the list of all your contacts 
which in my case is 8700 right so that's the number of people that I that I have in my list here that um that I that you know the tool has found over the over the last few months that I've been using it right so that's kind of how it works and uh yeah so that's basically it and we'll s and if you have any questions obviously you can always reach out you can send a message right here by saying new pm and finding me right here jean serge Gagnon you can go ahead and click on this you can say select right here and then you can type a message for me right and that'll send me a message obviously this is me sending to myself but you can actually send me a message right here on the platform using this and click and doing new pm and finding me in the list and you can also do <coughs> yeah so select right here right and uh, yeah so that's it we'll see you in the next video